So I've got all parts on order or already in hand. I'm going to start the disassembly while I'm waiting for this part to arrive. I'm going to have to take out the entire air cleaner assembly, brackets that hold the power steering reservoir. Um, I'll have to remove the EGR tube. This side is not going to be too hard and the benefit of me having recently put headers on this vehicle is that that EGR tube is going to be easy to remove. It's not going to be fused. The hard part is I've looked at this is going to be getting this valve cover off so I can get down here to the timing chain elements. So let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart. About an hour and a half's worth of progress. You can see I've removed quite a few things, including the air intake system. I removed some of the front brackets, a lot of the bolts on the timing cover, got the belt off, the tensioner, the idler pulley, the cooling fan, the my electric cooling fan plus the shroud. I've disconnected the upper side of the EGR tube, but I'm going to have to take the fender liner out to get to the bottom side because I'm going to have to remove this completely to get that valve cover off. And then this thing should come off fairly easily by finally removing or just relocating these electrical wires. What I've done is I've laid everything out on my truck bed so I can put everything back when I, uh, I need to. And I've also kept all the bolts. For example, this is the power steering uh, reservoir bracket and I've got all the bolts that are associated with that. I'm gonna paint a lot of this stuff just to make it look nice and get rid of some of the rust. So I've got my paints laid out. So tomorrow I'll start back with uh, removal of the fender liner and I also need to remove the power steering pump to get that uh, out of the way. Hopefully I'll have everything disassembled tomorrow and then I'll just be waiting for the parts.